man, you was talking, you was telling me uh, about the athletes going broke. Yeah, man. No, all so right. what you feel about that? They say, man, damn. They say 78% of athletes go broke after retirement. Do you, can you fathom yourself going broke or being one of those athletes to get yourself in a situation to where you can go broke? Like, I'm fascinated by this. So I, I was trying to find out, like, why? Me and you, we tested on it one time. Remember we were talking about taking steps? Yeah. Like one through uh, five, right? Yep. So let's say we start off at one. Yep. Now you got the money of five. You you never never seen two, three, four. So you don't know how to handle the money, how to lose the money, how to keep the money, how to invest the money. You say, I say 78%. That's almost 80%. That's almost eight out of 10 players. Yeah. So you tell yeah. me eight out of 10 players don't have no kind of financial literacy before. But I mean, I understand big money is big money, but no kind of financial literacy to even know to okay. get a financial advisor I tell you right now i couldn't be i couldn't see myself being one of the eight out of ten players that okay now, you, now you're gonna be the two out of ten then you're gonna be the two out of ten that's straight i would think so do you think grant hill would have been one of those people and knowing his father and his upbringing and stuff like that do you think he would have been the part of the two or the eight he'd have been part of the two that's what I'm saying. Now, just think about it. The people that we know, no, no disrespect to anybody, because I'm one of those people. Do you think we fit in the eight out of ten without the without the fathers, or or the two out of the ten? I would say most of most people would fit, and my, I myself was in the eight out of ten. Okay. But but as I've grown and experienced life, it would put me in the two. I would say now. If you were 22, back in when you were 22, do you think you still would have been savvy enough? So would you? I would or would probably you, if you fell in the eight. I would have probably fell in the eight. And that's a hell of a number, eight versus two. Like, that's 80% versus 20%. So 80% of us don't have that. So, yeah, I'm not surprised because if you think about it, what, what is it, 70% of us are African-American in the, in the leagues? Yeah. So it's just like I'm not surprised. Like the numbers is right there. We all played that game. What would you do if you had a million dollars, right? Yeah. And we all broke the money up in stupid ways when we were young. Like what would yeah. you do with the million dollars? Yeah. And would have been yeah. broke. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah, however broke. you you would have split that million dollars up. You thought it was a lot of money. And you would have yeah. split it up however you'd have thought you just you would have been broke. So but the only issue that I have with that is some of these guys are veteran players. They've already went through three contracts. That's where I have a problem with that part. Like, mm. of course, you come into the league as a little boy. At some point, I'm thinking some kind of financial literacy would come into play. And they, 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 they're making janky deals and janky investments. And that's hard pill to swallow, man, to watch, to watch brothers like Joe Smith roll around, you know what I'm saying, with financial issues. You haven't been out of the league much, that long. Certain players haven't been out of the league that long. We do three contracts. Three contracts. Oh, you said all right. What? So three contracts. Let's just say uh, you, you got three contracts. You yeah, had three, three, three max deals or some shit. If you keep going through the same thing, that means you haven't learned a lesson yet. Yeah. If, if you learned the lesson, you wouldn't go through it three times because you learned the lesson. It's the same thing. If somebody tests a stove and, and it's hot, boom. Okay, I, now I know. It's hot. If you touch that stove two more times to try to figure out if it's hot or not, you was, it's on you. You're right. You said a good thing before. You said, um, and this is where I don't understand it, and this is where brothers need to be understanding it, and this is where something is wrong. In this, and you said, I ain't going back. Yeah. You've been there before. You've been at that, you know, when you were at that, that point. Yeah. You ain't, you ain't going back. I'm not going back. So what I'm saying to myself too, as that player who is an earner, and you are what you, mean? you must you must have forgot what it's like to be there. Mm. Because a person who gets that and acquires that are supposed to know they ain't never going back. You know what I'm saying? Like you work from where we were to get to where you are, 
That's why it's so hard for me to understand. Because if you, you I'm talking about your mama not having this, you not having that, everybody in your family, whatever, you work to get there. And now, after all the success, you're going to be right back there. That's yeah. hard for me. To, that's hard for me to, that, that's a hard pill to swallow because you yourself said, I ain't going back. And I, and I, and I myself say, I ain't going back. Because mm -hmm. I know what that feeling is like. That feeling right there keeps me away from that. So all okay. the mistakes along the way, when do you learn from them, man, knowing that that's, it, this is where you're going to be. So you said that, John, that, that me and you said we ain't going back, right? So let's say 10 people say, yeah, we ain't going back either. All right, then I go down the line. What did you do to make sure you ain't going back? Uh, That's the part. That's the part. That's it.